So we're seeing a lot of red in the markets recently, and there seems to be no sign of slowing down. And so in today's video, I'm going to address that and also provide a balanced perspective on where things are going and how, importantly, this will affect your crypto portfolio. So stay tuned and definitely watch to the very end. My name is Tom and this is Crypto Busy. Now, if you're new to Crypto Busy and you want to see more videos about the crypto markets, about altcoins and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And if you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And so with that being said, guys, let's move straight into what's happening with the markets and how this is affecting your crypto portfolio. So this is a tweet from James, also known as Money uh, CG. And he's talking about how the you know this is one of the biggest crypto FUD storms we've ever seen. And so there's potential of the rising political tensions across the world at the moment, plus the interest rate hikes as well, and also the uh, the quantitative easing or the QT from the Fed as well, plus you know Biden uh, crypto executive order as well, and then also on top of that an open sea hack. And so when you combine all of that together, you get what's happening in the markets at the moment. And so you're seeing at the moment with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, you know down nine percent, nearly ten percent on the weekly, and around five percent on the daily time frame now you can see yeah bitcoin is around 38 200 and by the time this video comes out it may be a little bit different because of that volatility we're seeing in the markets at the moment ethereum is taking a bit of a hit as well you can see at 2600 dollars and again there seems to be no sign of slowing down opposite to that you've got xrp that seems to be holding very well at that 80 cent region because of what's happening with this ripple sec lawsuit and again seems to be holding very well so that's a bit of anomaly at the moment but when you have a look at the likes of cardano Solana, Avalanche, I mean Cardano is one that certainly you know, sticks out for us and we're going to be picking up some more Cardano very soon is that it's below one dollar, it's at 93 cents so this is back to its all-time high, its previous all-time high in the previous bull run that we saw so this is from the 2017-2018 bull run, Cardano is back at that level and so it's absolutely insane to see these prices at these levels because again of what's happening in the world at the moment and that is really at the end of the day why the market is crashing it's because of the rising political tensions it's because of what's happening from the federal reserve are they going to be stopping quantitative easing are they going to be raising interest rates and also on top of that the biden executive or the crypto executive order that's coming out this week and then also on top of that the open sea attack so all of these things combined together provides what this market is at the moment and so so when you go into this, there is fear in the market. And so people are maybe saying, how long is this fear going to last for? So the balanced perspective I want to provide in today's video is, first of all, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a financial advice video. You know, when, whenever there is fear in the market, I'm greedy. And whenever there is a greed in the market, I'm fearful. The second thing as well is that this will soon pass. You know, it's all very sort of short-term knee-jerk reactions that we're seeing from the markets. And that's what we're seeing at the moment. We're seeing no concrete decisions being made on what's happening with the rising geopolitical tensions. And we're seeing no concrete decisions being made from the Federal Reserve, from the European Central Bank, from the Bank of England. And so when you combine all those things together, people are just highly, highly speculating on what's happening in the market at the moment. And so that's why people are very fearful, because they just don't know of what the concrete decisions are going to be made. They will soon come. And then eventually after that, you'll see the markets recover because ultimately what the market needs right now, not just the crypto market, but the stock market and even the housing market, they just need some stability and they need some strong decisions to be made. And we're not seeing that just as of yet. And so the sentiment is fearful. And so the sentiment is to sell. And so from my position, what I'm doing right now, I'm not selling any of my crypto positions because I see the very long-term perspective of what crypto is. And that is something that you can sort of quite get easily lost, especially in the, in the world of crypto, where things we so quickly change change and Bitcoin can change in a day, you know, you know, Terra Luna or Avalanche can change in just a day as well. I mean, you've already seen just a bit of a buy order there. Things can change so quickly that people think that they can get rich very quickly in this game. And it takes so long to do so. You know, it takes a very long time to actually make a bit of money in crypto. So that is what I would say for people who are in crypto. You have to have that long term perspective because we're very young. I mean, have a look at the market cap right now It's one point seven trillion dollars. When you compare that to gold or to the stock market, it is nothing compared to those levels. It's nothing compared to those markets. And even though it is a large amount of money, one point seven trillion dollars, more than most GDP that are out there you know in terms of countries uh, it's a massive amount of money but it's nothing compared to what the stock market is and to what also um the, you know, the, the housing market is as well the same with bitcoin dominance and we're going to see this rise we're going to see this fluctuate throughout the next few days and also weeks because bitcoin needs to get back to its all-time high in order for that to happen we need to see bitcoin rise above in terms of the dominance but it also is good 
is Ethereum dominance is holding very strong at 18%. So let's have a look at the market watch. I'll leave these links down in the description below so you can check out for yourselves much for the detail. Bitcoin has plummeted to a two week low at $38,000. And we could see this go even further as well. I'm gonna go into the technicals very soon. The other side to this is that there's still growing pressure over the SEC to at least confirm that there's going to be an ETF this year. Now, this is also be a great opportunity for institutions to get involved in crypto and Bitcoin, and that'll be a big thing. So potentially that might be a contributing factor to some bullish news that we're going to be seeing. But again, no concrete decisions are being made. There's no concrete decision from the SEC to say that, yes, we're going to be doing this. And so right now, the stance is there's going to be no decision at the moment. And so that is adding to the FUD fuel. The next thing is also, you know, Bitcoin is following the S&P 500 and the investor sentiments tell us what's happening. And so I'm going to leave this article linked down in the description below again, so you can show it for yourselves in much further detail. But with this, Bitcoin is following very closely to what the S&P 500 is doing, to what the stock market is doing. And at the moment, the stock market is very much fueled by what happens on the outside and what happens with the rising political tensions, with what happens also uh, with the Federal Reserve. And so if Bitcoin is trading very closely to the stock market and it is at the stock market's control, then we're getting a very good position where the stock market controls what Bitcoin is doing. And that is a position that I don't want crypto to be in, but it just is the case right now. You know, the stock market does affect what Bitcoin is doing. And so we just have to accept that as well. And so as the stock market fluctuates over the next few weeks, so will Bitcoin. And so with that as well, we need to see more action with the stock market and more positive uh, you know, news to come out as well. And so that's the other thing. That's the other point I want to make in this video is you know, this, this bad news you're seeing right now is temporary. It's very short term thinking at the end of the day of what's going to be happening. So Josh will provide you with uh, further analysis on the Bitcoin price action in the other videos. But what's happening right now with Bitcoin's price is that we're seeing some form of double top here. At the moment, we could be seeing that as well. But it also might form into the lower time frames into some other bullish pattern. But right now, Bitcoin is trying to test these key levels. The other thing to be aware of as well, this is correcting over a weekend. So it is currently um, you know, a Sunday and you know, the markets are traditionally closed over the weekend. And so you have a thing called the CME gap. And whenever Bitcoin trades above or below what's happened on Friday's price, that could bounce back to that level on Monday. And so we could be seeing Bitcoin bounce back to $40,000 on Monday. But again, with the amount of fear that's in the market at the moment and also what's happening in the world, that could be opposite. So two levels I'm looking out for at the moment is the $40,000 region. And also importantly right now, the next key area of support will certainly in the immediate short term be around 37,200. But then below that, another very key level will be the 35,500. And that's you know some key levels to be aware of when it comes to Bitcoin's price. So I'm staying out of the market for the time being. I'm not putting any active trades for the time being. If you do, you can use our Bybit link to the link down in the description below. You can sign up, deposit and start trading today with Bybit. You can get up to $4,100 as a bonus and 30% discount on fees. You can also join our Crypto Busy VRP coin calls, which gives you the balanced perspective of what's happening in the markets every single day. We also provide a webinar every single month. So in conclusion, what is happening with the markets and the reason why Bitcoin is correcting, why the stock market is correcting, is because of this FUD. And the major reason is because of the rising political tensions, because of the, the interest rates and everything like that. And the important message I want to bring across in today's video, guys, is that this is very, very temporary. This will last for a very short amount of time compared and relative to what is going to be happening in the longer term perspective of this year. And so that's what I want to make sure that I bring across in today's video. So, you know, testing lower lows, so testing the, the $35,000 region is on the cards. We could be seeing another 30K Bitcoin this year. At the same time, that is relative and very small compared to where Bitcoin has the potential to go to this year as well. And so I'm personally not going to bet against the technology that was just a line of code 13 years ago that is now you know, legal tender in countries right now. And so that's the final thoughts I want to bring across to you guys in today's video. So do comment down below whether you agree, whether you disagree with what I've said in today's video. We're very interested to hear what you guys are going to say and I'll also be responding to some comments down below as well. If you do like the video, make sure to leave a like. It's very much appreciated. And if you're new and you want to see more videos about the crypto markets, about old coins, about Bitcoin's price action and everything else in between, be sure to join the Crypto Busy family today and subscribe. And so that's it for me in today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.